I'm so over this. Just kidding, guys. We're going to be covering today more Toy Fair 2018 reveals. We're looking at the new Marvel Legends. Yes, Marvel Legends, man. They're, they're, they look like they're going to be coming out with some good stuff. Uh, first up, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, this head sculpt right here of Paul Rudd is pretty good. It's not bad for a Marvel Legends. Let's get a close-up here. Now, again, these images are from Toy Arc because they put their name right on the head sculpt. But look at that right there. I mean, that looks like Paul Rudd right there. So we got Ant-Man and the Wasp figures and then some other Hasbro, uh, like kind of like role-play figures. We also got the new line that Marvel Legends is going to be coming out with, and that's called The First Ten Years. Based off of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you can see Iron Man right there. We got Ronin. Uh, which I think was a wasted character in Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Red Skull. I think one of my favorite villains from um, Captain America or from the MCU. So we got Red Skull, which is awesome. With It looks like he comes with some interchangeable heads for the Hydra soldiers. So that's really cool. We have uh, Crossbones. You can see we got Thor right there in the back. We got Tony Stark. We got the uh, uh, Iron Man Mark One. We got Captain America, which looks freaking amazing. It's a head sculpt right there of Chris Evans. Uh... It looks okay, but you can see the Captain America and Crossbones from Civil War. You also get the head sculpt for um, Crossbones. Uh, I don't think I showed it on here, though. You can see it right there on the bottom left, which looks pretty cool. And the packaging of the two packs look pretty nice. Uh, there's a three-pack right there with Iron Man, Pepper Potts, and uh, the Mandarin. So you can see that. Really cool. Yeah, this 10-year this, uh, 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 series looks like it's going to be awesome. First 10 years, you can see the packaging right there. There's Ant-Man. That looks sick. You got miniature figures with them too. This is going to be a really good line. Really good variety too. So you can just see some more images right there of the characters. We're getting a Hulk, another Hulk. But the cool thing about it, you're getting a Hulkbuster. So we're getting a two-pack right there. Now, I never owned the Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster. Is this a reissue, repaint? Let me know in the comments below. But it looks pretty cool that we're getting that right there. So we're getting those. And then going to the Marvel Legends line, we got... Uh, Omega Red, this is the Deadpool wave right here. We got Omega Red, which is awesome. We got the X-Men Deadpool. There's another Deadpool variation right there with some boxers and some slippers. We got Bishop, which I'm really excited for. I've been waiting for a Bishop. Yeah, there's another close-up right there. But the one I've been waiting for for years and years, not Lady Deadpool, which does come with a head pull, is Sauron. We're getting a Build-A-Figure Sauron. That is awesome. Give us some more Savage Land characters. So we're getting a Sauron for the Deadpool Build-A-Figure wave. Um, or build a figure for, you know, Thoron. But um, you look at all these Deadpool characters. We're getting a lot of Deadpool stuff because of obviously the movie. Here's the Venom wave coming out. Look at these characters. So um, we're getting another Venom and a Carnage. I didn't know they were going to give us the character head sculpts. That head sculpt looks bad though. It does not look proportioned well with the with the body. But we're going to get an Eddie Brock head and then a Cassidy head sculpt for Carnage. The Carnage one looks awesome. That one looks beautiful. We're also getting uh, another symbiote, which is Scream as well and we're getting this little spider-man character right here don't know much about him but uh you guys can let me know what that's all about but look at that scream symbiote right there so i just literally added to this video right now so i just saw some more images of the legendary are they calling the riders i don't know what they're calling this but here's the wolverine so you get some different head sculpts and some interchangeable hands with his motorcycle the logan which looks awesome um, we're getting some more spider-man figures right over here you're going to be seeing here in a second you can see that right there that looks cool. You can never get enough Spider-Man figures. Uh, we're getting also another Daredevil. And this character, I forgot his name, but you guys can let me know in the comments below. I know I've seen him in comics. Uh, this character, too, I'm not sure who this one is based off of the image. We're getting an Elektra. I don't even know what I just said right there, but we're getting an Elektra. And uh, we're also getting a Dr. Octopus. Now, this Dr. Octopus looks really cool. I like this a lot. I can't wait for this Dr. Octopus. We're also getting another Scarlet Spider. This is dope. Really excited for this one right there. Uh, we're getting the Spider-Man robot. I forgot the name of this. You guys can let me know in the comments below. And then let's see what else we got. We got uh, Prowler. Um, I think this is from the this is from the upcoming Spider-Man wave that's coming out. You got another symbiote right there because you got that really cool Spider-Man punker that's also in this wave, which is I really want. It's the build a figure lizard. You get this character right here too. This one looks awesome. Um, don't remember his name either. There's Psylocke right there. We're getting another Psylocke finally which is cool. You can see multiple men in the background. I can't wait to get that. That guy's going to be an army builder right there. So since they have that mold, give us another Gambit figure or give us a Morph figure from the X-Men animated series. I want to see Marvel Legends do an X-Men animated series line. That would be really cool. I mean, just seeing that 
nostalgia in you know the six inch scale form look at this guy right here not sure who this guy is but the character looks really cool uh looks like we're getting another wolverine unless that's one that's already been out we got a storm right there with the mohawk look at that saber tooth guys we're finally getting another saber tooth that looks awesome uh we're getting an apocalypse finally another new apocalypse an updated apocalypse which is cool give us the age of apocalypse i think that would be awesome there's another magneto and then you can see gladiator right there in the background Lastly, we're going to be getting the gauntlet, the Infinity Gauntlet for, you know, from Marvel Legends. You know, you can actually put this in your hand. So it's kind of like the Thor's hammer or the Iron Man mask. You're getting, you know, something like that, which lights up, which is going to be really cool. I think this will really be a great display piece. But you guys let me know in the comments below, what are you most ex excited for out of everything on here? Let me know. There's going to be more videos coming up, so stay tuned for that, guys. And again, just let me know which one you're excited for from all these Marvel Legends, man. Marvel is going to be coming out with some cool stuff this year in the Marvel Legends line. So subscribe if you guys haven't. Like the video. Where is Gambit? We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys.